Greetings, YouTube. It is no secret that when it comes to crystal opening commentaries, I appreciate ones that have actual stakes, that have consequence, that have something that could really change the life of the account. Because if you get something good, if you get something account changing, yeah, it's going to save you units and potions, but uh, it's going to make you enjoy the game more. And so, like, every time I do a crystal opening commentary, especially if it goes well, I view it as like a love letter to the game. I know that sounds kind of romantic and bizarre, maybe, but, like, this is seeing the game through somebody else's account and allowing yourself to maybe have them continue to play what they hopefully love even more because they got a champion that they've been longing to hunt or sometimes, in a case, didn't even think they would they were hunting because they didn't expect them to ever get them in the first place. So, that being said, we have a level 46 account and uh, this is from Austin. And now Austin uh, and I have been working behind the scenes through multiple means to make this happen because when he first reached out to me via line, it just wouldn't play. And so I suggested to go through Dropbox and he said, okay, and here we are. And so uh, we're starting with 17 greater gifting crystals. And, uh, and so this is for a level 46 account. This is what you're hoping to be a chance to get crystal shards. This is sort of like the side quest of January where you're choosing rank up resources or crystal shards, but you're choosing, uh, in this case, certainly to have uh, crystal shards because you don't have many great champions as five or six stars because you're only level 46, you know? All right, so some six stones, some tier four class catalyst, some tier four basic. You got a five star out of the deal but a five star for a hundred bucks essentially is a really really bad rng like if you had that for um a daily deal you wouldn't do it but the second batch of seven is three less he got five thousand more five star shards and wow okay boom a five star awakening gem crystal which is extremely relevant and a featured six star worth of six star shards. It is so rare to see a one to one ratio of five star shards to six star shards. Of course, six star shards are rarer. So maybe if you open 30,000 five star shards, you'll open 5,000 six star shards. You know, the ratio will be like one to six or six to one. So, uh, okay, is that the first video? Yep, yeah, but he sent two. And this is where last month really could change accounts forever. This is where you could have somebody who at level 46, maybe they're not even uh, uncollected yet, right? Maybe they're still a conqueror or proven. You could have somebody jump the line of progression in ways that so many people like myself who've been playing this game for five years couldn't when we were level 46. Now, it was sort of a blessing because back when I was level 46, Scarlet Witch was the best and so was Black Widow and Doctor Strange and... OG Thor, and so those were like landing on the best six stars. You know, you didn't know what uh, six stars were because they hadn't been invented yet. I pray that somebody doesn't look back on this video and say, wow, he didn't even know there were seven stars. Please don't do that anytime soon. Kabam. Okay, Fishbowl. That is one of those champions that though, if I had my pick of what champions I would want to use in the tech class, he would not be at the top of the list. He's still one of those champions that's good enough to where he can really help you progress. What I love to do with him in the arena is I love to fire off like a special one and then just take my hands off of my phone and let myself get hit for like five or six times. And then when that damage is reflected, once that uh, duration timer has expired, it's just really satisfying. That's why I love Spider Ham so much. It's like the ultimate version of that. And Namor, oh man, if you can get a Mutant Awakening Gym now. I was hoping that uh, despite the weird lag of this uh, video, oh, getting uh, getting some kind luck from friends wishing you uh, a good opening. That's generous. Kind of the first time I've seen that too. All right, so Namor and Mysterio are both really good champions to land on. Now, Mysterio doesn't need to be awakened as much as Namor does. But still, I mean, those are account changing potentially pools that you got thanks to the greater gifting crystal event. All right, so now here's where it gets nerve wracking. He has never opened a six star, I think. I think this is maybe the first two he said. And so to go straight for the featured six star is a risk, but he said he opened two and so the math wouldn't back up that he went for the featured. He would be, you know, clearly several shorts. So 
he is choosing to go for the six star crystal. Now we've already seen from the five stars how account changing this event was, but this is really where it can be crazy. And I want to mention as well that um, for some people who can't afford greater gifting crystals or you know don't have the units, like it takes six months to form a six star basic crystal. Especially if you're in a semi-retired alliance or a chill alliance or whatever. You got people who play this game casually and don't put eight hours into it like Lord knows I do. Okay, Proxima Midnight is not bad and she's not great. I mean, once you get her ramped up, she's amazing. But what content will you do that allows you even the ramp up to get her there? And by the time you get her there, wouldn't you rather just use even Star-Lord Awakened, but especially Aegon? That's kind of the way I look at her. But she does have some cool synergy with Corvus as well if you pull a Corvus. Okay, last of two six stars from Prox, Void, Vegan, Thor, Massacre? It's like each time he's so nervous, he like hits the power button. It's kind of adorable. Um, okay. He is also, at this point, criminally underrated. And uh, as somebody who uses Domino daily, Masakre is an MVP. Though I have switched out Masakre for Apocalypse in my Alliance Quest um, experience. So there's that. Uh, YouTube. This was... Um, this was a ton of fun. I really enjoyed this. And this is a testament to the power of an incredible event and getting good luck, especially in that second seven batch of Greater Gifting Crystals. This is why December was account changing for so many. And I appreciate Austin's ability to have me show that through this crystal opening commentary. Have a great rest of your day, YouTube. Thanks for watching.